Revolt TV recently caught up with star Nick Cannon in St. Louis. You've been out here before, right? For the Ferguson situation? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been out here uh, a few times. Uh, you know, try not to come out here doing the whing media uh, war. We just come out here doing a real time where you can really connect with the community. I asked Nick if he believed actors and musicians have a responsibility to speak out about Ferguson and issues affecting the black community. I don't think it's a responsibility as an entertainer to speak out, but I do think it's a responsibility as a black man. Personally, I'm excited, man. You know, uh, you know, with, with great tribulation comes great triumph. You know, so I believe that, you know, it's things that had to be brought to the forefront. A lot of this stuff has been swept under the rug. I mean, you know, injustice has been going on in our country for years. That's nothing new. But now that we have the ability to, to speak out and people are paying attention, and these young people are, are fired up, man, whether it's in a, in a way that they may not know how to uh, direct a lot of that energy right now, they're still fired up in a way that they want change. They want things to happen. They want their voices to be heard. So now as leaders in the community, we need to, to take all of that energy and guide it in the right direction so we can make some difference in our communities. 2015 promises to be a big year for the 34-year-old entertainer. He has a new TV show in the works and a new album dropping. That's in addition to his hosting duties on America's Got Talent, Wilding Out, and co-starring role on BET's Real Husbands of Hollywood. What's next for you? What's in the works for you? Ah, man. Everything was not. We did a show that uh, went all over the country, actually. Uh, a couple areas like Ferguson, Atlanta, Houston. Oh, you came here auditioning. Yeah, I do remember that. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, getting some positive young men in these urban communities that uh, we're going to put together probably one of the most outstanding R&B guy groups that you've seen uh, in years. So uh, that's going to be fun. And then plus we got, you know, everything from Wild and Out. title for the show yet? Uh, I do, but that I can't give you. Okay. Uh, we got Wild and Out 10th season, or 10th year. America's Got Talent 10th season. Uh, Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous. Cannon made waves when he recently took to Twitter to slam rumors he would be dissing his superstar wife on his upcoming album, saying, quote, I will never say anything negative about Mariah Carey. We are forever a family rooted in love. Appearing at a black tie event for Real Husband's co-star, hip-hop star Nelly, Cannon avoided being too specific about his separation from Carrie, but reiterated that family still comes before business. It's family at the end of the day, you know what I mean? And we all have our, our family situations, and, you know, I'm just putting my kids uh, at the forefront and making them a priority, and, you know, it's time of holiday, so everybody gets to uh, focus on the, the young people and all the festivities. So you guys are uh, do, still very active in your kids' lives, but even though you're separated? Y you know what, being, it, the kids are the number one priority. I mean, I, I, I don't like to get out there and, and say it's this or that, or this is just, the most important thing really is about family and kids and the way we raise our children together to understand that, you know, we're just trying to uh, be the best human beings we can possibly be. I'm Tim Lampley for Revolt TV.